I'm Oscar with Next MMA Fighter. We're here with Bobby Peebler at Bangkok Fight Night 5. Uh, Bobby, congratulations. Uh, you won against uh, Kenny Seeger tonight. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, your training coming to this fight? And Oh, well, my training basically consisted of doing a lot of wrestling with BJJ. I, uh, had, uh, decided I really wanted to try and knock him out, but didn't, didn't really do that. I clenched up with him, took him down down fairly quickly, and uh, and that's kind of what happened. But I've been wrestling a long time, wrestling since 10 years old. I've been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for about the past five years, a few years, and I'm closing in on being a perfect belt. Excellent. So, so and most of my wins are by submission, so that's kind of my game plan. Uh, you went tonight with a Kimura. Why don't you talk us through um, the initial, getting the initial takedown? It took you a little bit to get him to the ground. Yeah, yeah I did a, uh, a basic a, a clinch throw where I, I had a, a overhook and underhook, and I trapped the arm, then I sling him down, and then I went for a north south choke, and he rolled through it, and that basically uh, let him get my back, and I was in danger there, and I eventually got the Kimura, and I fell on the guard. Uh, he was about to get your back and you rolled out of it, uh, scrambled for a second, and then you were able to uh, turn in his guard, I believe, and then get yeah. more of Yeah, and then, and then all you have to do is just escape your hips, the same side you have the arm, mm -hmm. and then you have all your body weight just to rip it. And, and I, 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 I felt his shoulder pop quite hey, a few times Kung before, before he tapped. Right. And where's, I don't know if he tapped or if he screamed. If he was screaming that stopped him, but I'm not sure, but that's kind of what happened. Uh, so that brings your. What does that bring your record to now? I'm two and zero as a pro, but I'm, I was six and one as an amateur. So uh, it's not like my first fight. Fight. I, I, I'm pretty well seasoned. I just uh, haven't had a lot of opportunity to fight a lot of pro fights, and also have a no contest as a pro too. I see. Yeah. And that brings me to to, to my next fight. Uh, actually, I'm going to rematch the guy having no contest on March uh, 20th hey, in on. Charleston, in, North, in South Carolina. I believe, but uh, it's going to be on March 20th. I'm going to fight Josh Lenning. Uh, past that, what do you see your career looking like? Uh, you want to be a professional fighter and try to get as many as you can, or? Well, I'm, well, I'm really right now. My goal is is stay undefeated, keep on winning, and really like short term goal is I want to main event a local fight. I want to main event a local fight, fight someone, someone good in the local scene, and do that. But after that, you know. If I if I continue to stay undefeated, you know the sky's the limit, you know. But I have a lot of things I need to work on before I, before I can go to like a UFC quality. In the uh, I guess in the Atlanta or in the Georgia area in general, there aren't a lot of uh, big heavyweights uh, your size. No, most of them are my friends, so right. I don't say, I, I, I don't necessarily want, want to fight them. But you know, just just you know, like a, a big name, you know, like a like a like a ex UFC fought for, for fighter that's been out of the UFC for a little while. Well, you know, I'd like to test myself, you know. So, uh, but, you know, if I get the opportunity, I'd love to do that. If not, you know, I, I, I'm okay with that. I, I honestly, I'd like to fight someone off the, the previous season of, of the Ultimate um, Fighter Series. You know, they were heavyweights, and, you know, one of the guys off that would be perfect. I'll Absolutely. Well, it's, uh, you know, we hope to get the, you know, have the promoters here in the Atlanta and the Georgia area bring some, uh, you know, bring some of those big names down and have you fight them. That would be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, I would like to thank Born to Bang, Fighter Warehouse, Sponsor Fan, the best managers in the Southeast, maybe even nationwide, maybe. <laughs> but uh, you know, and also too, I just want I just want to thank Gracie Baja. They uh, they taught me uh, a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu over the years, and I'm probably gonna go back to them. And I'm I float around the Atlanta gyms. But you know, just to, to name some people, like Hard uh, Hard Knocks Fit Fitness has been letting me go come there and train, and I really appreciate them. And uh, I also want to talk about my gym uh, up in North Georgia, May, right outside Chattanooga. It's at a place called Wave Fitness, and that's that's where I fight. That's my home right now. Awesome. Well, again, congratulations on your fight tonight, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Yeah. This has been Bobby Peebler.